Large commercial airliners can have baffling weights. In the case of the Airbus A380 for instance, the maximum landing weight is 386 metric tons. That is equivalent to over 400 small cars. How do these huge airplanes brake when landing? And what kind of brakes do airplanes have? Hello and welcome to another aircraft compare question and answer video. In this series, I am answering your questions and trying to explain them in a way anyone can understand. The question I am answering today is, do airplanes have brakes? The answer is, thankfully, yes, though it takes more than your average set of brakes. Just like cars and trucks you see every day, planes use disc brakes, very, very large disc brakes. In the case of planes, they will use brakes that are made up of single, dual and multiple discs. As soon as the wheels make contact with the runway, a whole series of events happen to bring this giant machine of the sky to full stop. Keep in mind with a machine this big and this heavy, the goal is to stop as quick and safe as possible. To aid the brakes, there are things called flaps and thrusters. To understand how that works, consider this. Have you ever seen people hold their arms out wide to try to slow themselves down after they've run really fast and need to stop quickly? Human instinct is doing what complex machines are making a plane do. Your arms are working just like a plane's flaps with the goal of slowing you down before coming to a complete stop. These flaps on airplanes are activated by the pilot or the aircraft itself right after the wheels touch the runway. Planes, of course, are designed to be able to deal with as little wind resistance as possible to cut through the air and make the plane go fast. These flaps, or spoilers, try to undo that in a way. They help to essentially slow the plane down and ease toward the ground. Planes typically try to land at speeds over 165 miles per hour or 265 kilometers per hour. Think about that for a second. That is much higher than most speed limits on highways. It's at this speed that planes are trying to slow down to eventually stop as quickly and more importantly, as safely as possible. Even with the flaps or spoilers, the planes need a little more help. This comes in the form of thrust reversers. These are the closest that the engines themselves can come to reversing. Instead of the exhausts being shot out the back of a plane engine to drive it forward, the reversers do as the name implies. When activated, they push the air out of the front of the engine. Both of these systems help take the stress off the disc brakes to assist in safe stopping. So all of that sounds very impressive, right? Well, it has to be, but it wasn't always that way. As planes evolved, the need for more safety measures came in. At the infancy of flight, the main goal was to get machines in the air. Stopping safely was an afterthought. So early planes had no brakes. Instead, they relied on the overall slower speed of the machine itself, rolling resistance of unpaved runways and the friction of the tail skidding on the runway. It was after World War I that brakes were designed for aircraft. This brings us back to the evolution of aircraft. Planes got bigger, faster and much, much heavier. The bigger an object is, the more power and force it takes to get it up to very high speeds. Then, once it is at very high speeds, there needs to be a great deal of force and power to move in the opposite direction to bring it to a full stop. But doing that isn't enough. The object needs to come to a full stop without any harm coming to those inside. If a plane stops too quickly, you may end up reaching for an air sick bag. Nobody wants that, of course. These systems attempt to take into account the amount of friction, lift and drag needed to do this. Pilots manually engage the actual brakes, while the computers on board assist with the rest. The tires, brakes, flaps and spoilers all work in unison to give you, the pilots and cargo the smoothest and safest ride possible. So, in summary, yes, planes do have brakes, but it's not only the brakes that take care of bringing the plane to a stop. To aid the brakes are flaps and reverse thrusters. Most of these systems are engaged by the pilot immediately after touchdown. The braking process has been optimized to provide the smoothest ride possible for the plane's passengers. This video is based on a full-length article on my website aircraftcompare.com. There's a link in the description below if you'd like to check it out. And if you like this video as much as I like making it, give it a like and share it with a friend. Also, subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. As always, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.